How far ahead does the manual say you should look? What are two main things to look for ahead? What's your most important way to see the sides and rear of your vehicle? Question Group C, 10 questions, covering sections 2.4, Seeing, 2.5, Communicating, and 2.6, Controlling Your Speed. How far ahead does the manual say you should look? The manual indicates that you should look 12 to 15 seconds ahead, which means that this is the distance you would travel in 12 to 15 seconds. At a slower speed, that would be about a block. At highway speeds, it's about a quarter of a mile. What are two main things to look for ahead? Look for traffic, vehicles coming onto the highway, into your lane, or turning. Watch for brake lights from slowing vehicles. Look for road conditions. Look for hills and curves. Anything you'll have to slow or change lanes for. Hey, pay attention to traffic signals and signs. Watch for stale green lights that may change before you get there. What's your most important way to see the sides and rear of your vehicle? Mirrors. Mirrors help you see the sides and rear of your vehicle. What does communicating mean in safe driving? It means signaling your intentions. Where should you place reflectors when stopped on a divided highway? All to the rear of the vehicle at 10 feet, 100 feet, and 200 feet towards the approaching traffic. Traffic is approaching your vehicle from the rear. This rule also applies for one-way streets. What are three things, pardon me, what three things add up to total stopping distance? One, perception distance. Two, reaction distance and three, braking distance. If you go twice as fast, your stopping distance increases by two or four times. Answer, four times. The preceding answer is true for speeds from 20 to 40 miles per hour. Stopping distance under the paragraph heading. 
the effects of speed on stopping distance, which states when you double your speed from 20 to 40 miles per hour, the impact is four times greater. The braking distance is also four times longer. Keep in mind, the greater the speed, the greater the effect. Empty trucks have the best braking, true or false? False. Empty trucks require greater stopping distance because an empty vehicle has less traction. It can bounce and lock up its wheels, giving much poor braking. Stopping distance under the paragraph heading, the effect of vehicle weight on stopping distance, which states, empty trucks require greater stopping distance because an empty vehicle has less traction. The reason for that is because empty trucks don't have as much weight on the tires as loaded trucks have on them. For trucks, more weight, within reason, on the tires equals better traction. What is hydroplaning? Hydroplaning, which is comparable to your tires water skiing, happens when the tires lose their contact with the road and have little or no traction. You can regain control by releasing the accelerator and pushing in the clutch. What is black ice? Black ice is a thin layer that is clear enough that you can see the road underneath it. It makes the road look wet. At any time the temperature is below freezing, and the road looks wet, watch out for black ice.